sweet corn. It was raining, it was dark. I stomped out of the yard, had a fight with the missus. I was very mad. Got into the car, driving like I was on crack. Then I saw the lights from my local pub, so I had to park. Went in for a drink, cause I feel I'm on the brink of losing my mind in the world of Warcraft. Kid, I'm the brink. So my guy Johnny, man, is looking hella funny. Drinking a bottle of vodka like water, like you get money. He's been through a lot, said he's going through divorce. I feel for him, cause all his life, man has had it tough. His parents died at 12, and his childhood was so rough. Raped by his uncle, scared, he couldn't even talk. I fell for this guy, tears rolled from his eyes. He was talking, I was thinking of the childhood I had. I had the good compared to him, never thought of suicide. I never had to run away, cause I was scared for my life. I never had to beg for food, cause Papa made sure of that. I never had to steal a thing as a child just to survive. I never had a false accusation that sent me to jail. Now I look back how ungrateful I've been, I'm so ashamed. Johnny stood up, he was leaving, then he said this to me. You're the only person ever told what happened to me. Now my wife about to ruin my life, I need you to please take care of my daughter if anything happens to me. I said, wait Johnny, what you saying, what do you mean? He said, promise me, promise me you take care of her. I said, I promise, I swear to God I'll take care of her. Then he stretched his hand, he shook my hand, said thank you my bro. Then he walked out the door, now so Johnny just go, uh. Now so Johnny just go. Now so Johnny just go Johnny just go He's been two days gone I haven't heard from Johnny I've been trying my best to reach him I got nothing from him Our last conversation really made me feel I'm drowning And my wife's steady moaning Cause our man is never on it How can I? When I don't know where is Johnny Saw his wife, she was vexing And she started saying I'm done with him, I wanna leave Cause he ain't even worth it I gave him the life he had When I brought him to this country Gave him a home, made him my own cause he had nobody Now I feel like I don't know him cause he's been acting cunny I'm done with him, I wanna leave and this ain't even funny I was like, hold up, I swear to God you love him She said I used to love him and I don't him but not anymore He's abusive and I cannot take this anymore He's hiding things, we never talk, I just wanna move on I was like, wow, you gotta work this shit out So I left I had things to sort out Still trying Johnny but the network keep cutting out It was 6 p.m. I got a DM, opened it, it was Johnny, he sent a VN He said I'm sorry but my life has really gotten so bad Left work early few months ago back to my yard I caught my wife red handed, she was cheating on me He was bigger, he was taller, he was stronger than me I swear I lost it and we fought, he beat the shit out of me I hit my wife and she was crying and she told me to leave The police came, I got arrested and they sent me to jail Now I'm out, I can't see my kid, I lost all I had, I'm sorry bro but this is goodbye from me, I got to go. Now so Johnny just go, uh Johnny just go Now so Johnny just go Now I'm speeding down the road Going to Johnny's home When I got to his yard There was a lot going on There was ambulance and the police wouldn't let me get a glance There was shooting and a case of double homicide Johnny just killed his wife Johnny then took his life I cannot phantom what was really going on in his mind This is a message to everyone Going through depression, I beg you, speak to someone and stop all this oppression. I know I can never understand, but it's the best decision. Suicide doesn't take the pain, only gives it some progression. After you're gone, your loved ones will feel the pain and oppression. For every married couple, please communicate, talk it out, sort it out. Don't use your new way, try to understand their feeling and appreciate. I pray your love will never turn to hate. How does it make you feel over the years? What have you been feeling? Because from this conversation, it's like you're still dealing with so many things. Um, I actually turned 33 February. And my mind feels 60, really. I've I've practically, at least to my best of knowledge, I think I've done so many things to make myself better. Probably because I've never really shared this whole experience with anybody that's why I'm still holding on to so many things. And I've done everything. Like, I had a baby, she died. I had Introduction engagements and they work, it didn't work out, you know. I 
I've tried suicide on several occasions. And when it happens, I expect myself to die and I still don't die, you know, and I give myself hope that, okay, your life still has meaning.